hello students uh, welcome to the last video of this playlist so you know in this playlist I tried to solve question uh, like uh, P4 June 2024 paper with as much as possible detail I can so I hope so you understood all of the previous questions well and wish that this question the last question of P4 paper uh, June 2024 paper question number nine you will also understand very well so let's get started okay so question number nine uh, you might feel it's very difficult like that since it's from integration so before integration is always challenging so this question is also a bit challenging question that has been asked and at the end of the paper so this is very very important okay so basically question number nine what I said it's from integration part basically uh, we will uh, integration is to be more specific it is from uh, like finding volume of revolution of a curve around an axis so uh, from that concept this question is from okay so to understand or to to be able to solve this question uh, you should have concepts from integration that is discussed in chapter number six of your P4 textbook okay so let's get started with uh, question number nine so you can see figure three uh, a curve C it's given and a region R is shaded which is between the curve C and the X axis okay so the curve C shown in figure three has equation what y equals to x inverse okay something the region r shown shaded in figure 3 is bounded by c the line with the equation x equals to 3 fine the x axis and the line with equation x equals to 1 third we can see everything in the what figure okay fine the region r is rotated through, through 360 degree about the x axis to form a solid okay now we need to use what substitution what substitution 10 u equals to square root of x that's an important thing the substitution is what 10 u equals to square root of x okay so we will be finding volume of revolution by using integration by substitution method fine okay for part a uh, show that the volume v of the solid uh, formed is given by okay we need to show that the volume okay so for volume for finding a volume what's the formula we know the formula for finding a volume it is what uh, you can write volume it is pi y square dx right pi integration from uh, what are the limits uh, from 3 to 1 third okay from 3 to 1 third y squared so what is y there the curve so if you do y squared what you, it will be x inverse half x inverse half right as you square it it will become x inverse half over what would be in the denominator uh, x plus 1 x plus 1 and then arc 10 there is arc 10 square root of x okay arc 10 arc 10 square root of what x whole squared okay it is with respect to what dx okay fair enough so pi y squared dx now the substitution is given right so let's recap let's discuss about substitution okay so in substitution method what's the main case like, like what we need to follow we need to follow that what we need to do in substitution we need to do what we need to make all the terms all the terms that has x we will convert the terms with x to u right so they have given 10u as square root of x right 10u 
as what square root of x okay so what we will do now we will make we will make u the subject here so you will get what if you take 10 to the other side you will get arc 10 arc 10 what square root of x arc 10 square root of x so we got the substitute for a very complex term isn't it yeah you will feel that this this is like what uh, very complex but we got a substitution it will be easier now okay so we got the substitute for u now what is remaining next we need substitutes for x right we need substitutes for x so for finding substitutes for x and also for dx we need substitute right so for finding x like uh, substitute for x and dx what we can do you can square this term if you do square you will get x equals to what you will get x equals to 10 squared u right 10 squared u okay so we got the substitute for x now what's our next work we need to get a substitute for dx so let's differentiate okay let's differentiate this what you will get dx over what d u now uh, what's the derivative of 10 square u do you know this we can get it from there the derivative of what we need 10 square u so the derivative would be okay it, uh, let us use the chain rule here since it is 10 squared so we can use this derivative the derivative of 10 x is what sec squared x fine the derivative of 10 squared so use chain rule so that would be what the derivative so at first from the power you will get one subtracted you will get what 10 u right fine and then we will differentiate 2 will be in front differentiation so 2 gets multiplied with the coefficient and then from the power we subtract 1 to get this one 10 u and then like differentiate the part within the what bracket which is here 10 u so de derivative of 10 u is what sec square sec square u fine so we got dx over du this is 2 sec square u 10 u so you can make dx subject from there to get the what substitute for what dx so uh, we will get sec square u sec square u 10 u okay du okay so now what we need to do we need to do the substitution now so let's see the substitution would be what pi y squared dx right so uh, pi let us ignore the limits for now okay we will put the limits later on so it was x inverse half so x inverse half is basically 1 over square root of x right 1 over square root of x and on the denominator what was that x plus 1 x plus 1 it was x plus 1 times arc 10 it was arc 10 square root of x whole squared isn't it whole squared okay and then it was dx okay now let us do the substitution so it was pi and then 1 over square root of x x is what x is 10 square u so that should be 1 over 10 u that should be what 1 over 10 u so we got 1 over 10 u and on the numerator x plus 1 x is what x is again x is 10 square u so 10 square u plus 1 so 10 square u plus 1 is what okay let us write 10 square u plus 1 if it is needed to simplify then we, we can do it later on so 10 square u plus 1 times arc 10 square root of x this is what this is u squared times what 
u squared and then in place of dx what we're going to substitute there in place of dx we're going to substitute 2 sec square u 10 u 2 sec square u 10 u we will put 2 sec square u 10 u right 10 u and then it will be what uh, the whole on the whole part it will be du okay so now how can we can uh, simplify it how can we simplify it look sec square u minus 10 square u equals to what 1 so 1 plus 10 square u 10 square u is what this is sec square u so we can write pi just now simplify it so there you see 1 over 10 u so 1 over 10 u 1 over 10 u times what times uh, we will have uh, sec square u so this sec square u and here this sec square u will cancel out right so you have 2 10 u there okay 2 10 u over what u squared you might get confused here let me uh, explain it again 10 square u plus 1 this is sec square u so this sec square u and this sec square u cancels out and so remains on the top this is 2 10 u again 2 10 u and here it is in the denominator it is 10 u so this 10 u and that 10 u cancels out so you will have only 2 on the numerator so you will get pi so take this 2 outside the bracket so you will get 2 pi what outside the integral integration of 1 over u squared right so it's very interesting isn't it like how what was the equation it was a very complex equation then after doing the substitution it has became so much simple right as like a simple uh, uh, integration what we did in uh, p1 isn't it so this is the work of substitution as you do substitution basically we use these processes to make the process of integration easier right so what we got 2 pi so k is what 2 pi so we got now we need just to put the limits and then we are done so if you put the limits what you will get if you put the limits so it was pi the upper limit was what for x it was uh, 3 and the lower limit was 1 third right 1 third uh, pi y squared dx right so y squared dx it can be written as what if x equals to 3 if x equals to 3 okay if x equals to 3 then we need the value for u because the previous limits were for x right where for x but now we need the limit for what u so if x equals to 3 then arc 10 square root of 3 is what arc 10 square root of 3 is pi over 6 radian pi over 3 radian yeah pi over 3 radian so you'll get e equals to pi over 3 radian because uh, 10 60 degree 10 60 degrees square root of 3 so pi over this is 3, three radian pi over 3 radian is 60 degree and if x equals to 1 third if x equals to 1 third then you will get uh, e equals to arc 10 square root of 1 third so square root of 1 third is what pi over 6 radian right 10 pi over 6 radian is what 1 over square root of 3 so we got the limits so that should be what 2 pi 2 pi we got 2 pi Two pi then the upper limit is uh, pi over three that is that that corresponds to three and pi over six that corresponds to what one over three one over three one third okay 
1 over u squared dx. That's it. We are done. So the value for k we got. What was the value of k? This is nothing but only 2 pi. Okay. Done. Next. Part B. Hence using algebra, algebraic integration, find the value of v. We need to find out the exact value for the volume. So v equals to what? 2 pi. 2 pi. Right. If you integrate, what you will get? 2 pi uh, times it is definite integral. So 1 over u squared. 1 over u squared is basically u inverse 2. So u inverse 2 plus 1. This is u inverse 1. Right. And the new power is negative 1. So use this ne uh, new power to divide the coefficient, which will become negative 1. Right. So the upper limit is pi over 3 pi over 3 and the lower limit is pi over what 6 okay next is just put the limits just substitute the limits so what you will get you will get uh, u inverse negative u inverse so negative 3 over pi plus what plus 6 over pi right negative 3 over pi plus 6 over pi so what would be the value so 6 minus 3 so, so that would be that would be 3 over pi so and 3 times 2 this is what exactly 6 that's pretty much what interesting right after doing a long integration we are getting just a number that is what 6 unit squared unit cube that's the volume and that's all about question number 9 of P4 June 2024 paper and hope so you understood the whole uh, paper very very well so if you have any comments to say or if you could find any problem or like if you could see I have done any mistakes in the in any of the questions then definitely feel free to do a comment below that specific question i'll be definitely looking on looking onto it definitely that's all and thanks for watching the whole playlist